Well, right back uh, all the way to when I first got married, I started my own uh, small business. And interestingly enough, since you're in the legal business, I started a process serving firm uh, many, many, many years ago. And I served, uh, I started out by serving all the uh, lawyers in Chandler. And then we moved to Mesa and, and uh, kind of broadened out to the Phoenix area and uh, went into business. Do you know a guy named Denny Dobbins at all? He's an attorney in Mesa. Uh, we uh, ended up doing private investigations and process service. And we built up a business to where we were serving several hundred attorneys in the valley. And uh, so that was my uh, first step in a small business. And uh, then uh, when I finished my degree in college, I went with a larger business. I went with Mountain Bell that later became uh, US West. And I started out on a management development program. Uh, I worked in all different areas. I started out, interestingly enough, in construction. And uh, I was a uh, splicing supervisor in Tucson, Arizona. I had a crew of about 25 people. Uh, I was 22 years old at the time. Uh, the youngest guy on my crew was about 35, and I was their boss. It was a baptism by fire. Uh, I learned a lot of things uh, that I didn't like about government then. Uh, I learned uh, to have a real healthy uh, dislike of OSHA, uh, which I think is more about issuing citations than it is about uh, uh, worker safety. Uh, and uh, uh, dealt with uh, a whole host of permitting issues as we uh, tried to secure digging permits in the streets. Anyway, I was with uh, US West for 13 years and uh, climbed up into the uh, upper management within the company. I became the risk manager uh, for the entire company. So uh, kind of joined into your realm. We were self-insured up to $5 million. I had a, uh, about 250 people that I supervised and I was uh, responsible for several hundred million dollars in revenues. And uh, uh, then I uh, became the director of public relations uh, for U.S. West for Arizona and uh, got into the public policy arena. That kind of whetted my appetite for politics and, uh, and then I uh, uh, ran for state office in the uh, state legislature back in 1990 uh, and was elected. Uh, after leaving um, office uh, from Congress, um, I joined a big uh, international consulting firm. I speak fluent Mandarin Chinese and I've done a lot of international trade and uh, was responsible for our China offices. And uh, uh, then uh, ran for governor, was not successful with that, very close race. And uh, then I started my own small business again. Uh, hung out my shingle and started a public affairs firm from scratch, started out of my home, like probably many people in small business do, uh, with uh, not a lot of uh, capital or anything like that, didn't borrow any money. I uh, just started my own business, uh, uh, put out my shingle, and uh, today, uh, our business has about 20 employees, uh, so we have to deal with all the fund payroll taxes and uh, health care benefits and all the same stuff that many of you do. And uh, uh, we've uh, developed, I think, a pretty successful small business, but uh, uh, dealing with all the challenges uh, of uh, the taxation, the, you know, the payroll taxes, all of those things, uh, it's been a big frustration. And, and believe me, um, I, have a, I think I have a pretty good understanding of uh, the challenges uh, of small business from having done it myself, from having worked both in the uh, large business sector, uh, the small business sector. And uh, when I was a congressman, I served on the Small Business Committee. And uh, uh, the whole time I was there, uh, I was given the award every, every year I was there from uh, the NFIB for being a guardian of small business uh, because I fought to reduce regulation and uh, taxes and all the problems that come along with being a small business owner.